mayor of the auditorium? Yes, Todd. Yes, Todd. Yes, 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 yes. Got it. Yeah. So, mayor, this area right here used to be a narrow hallway, and this was the auditorium. It used to have 900 seats, but the acoustics were not great, and the sight lines weren't so great. So now, this this building I know pretty well, so this will be very interesting seeing well, the changes. It was all different. Uh, we were. Uh, in the beginning, not able to achieve everything we wanted to. Dr. Williams came on board and he was able to give us a lot of support. The support that we're standing on right now is made possible by all the support we got from uh, downtown central office, as well as Simonelli. Well, it's beautiful. It's five, very attractive. Five feet higher than we would have a, a year ago. Wow. We'd like you to have your meetings. Public events right in here. We really want to open this up to the community. This is great. So before we walk down, let me just show you a couple of things. The wall, these walls actually move so that we can change the acoustical properties of the, of the room. Yes. Up there, we have the students will be working on the sound and the light, and that's all totally high definition. As far as we know, we've researched we're the only school in New York State that's totally HD and digital sound. Really? We have a screen that comes down with a rear projection, and the superintendent and I are going to throw the best, uh, super, best Super Bowl party in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> right you can't That'd be great. Security. When the superintendent sent his message and he was actually out, you can't, it looked as though he was going to walk right out of the screen. So our students' films will be shown there, and they'll be able to do some work and look at other things you know, through, uh, through that kind of technology. That's great. To walk down and see the students. The most sophisticated theater of any school in the state. Wow. Morning. Good morning. Then what happens coming down? Set and so forth. And there's really a huge market for students to go out and become professional stagehands. We're going to have to walk around this curtain. Okay. This is a room, Mayor, that I think you're going to like to use occasionally. Okay. Not just the other story. Oh, yeah, wow, this, this is great. Perfect. Yeah, this is. So we're planning to have some sections here to open up because the goal is to make the school self sufficient mm -hmm. and build up a foundation fund so we can bring professional musicians, artists. Oh, that'd be great. And see, this is right next to the auditorium. We have a nice reception here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, As you know, this building was not the most attractive building. Right. And not the most welcoming. This is what welcomes the people now. So at night, this will be all lightly or brightly lit. Mm -hmm. People feel comfortable coming down here and uh, be very welcoming. 
to get, you'll be able to see the activity too, which is great because you will see through the glass windows, see the artwork, see uh, the, the people kind of you know walking around, and everybody will be wondering Mi what's going on at the arts academy. Mr. Cutler, can you do me a favor and make a note of this house so we can check what the status of that is? And what the status of these two properties on the corner are? Thank you, Mayor. Biz? No, one thing we need to do with the people in the community, let's host the practice. Senator yeah, Thompson, uh, yeah. and the, as the mayor as well, and yeah. uh, Council Member Smith, and Senator Thompson has already reached out and said he'd like to help us with it. So, so you know the history of this area, right? Um, not really, no. Price Allen? Yes. What are you doing? Good, I just saw your son. He did? Yes. Offerman Stadium. He was, absolutely. <laughs> this, uh, of course, was Woodlawn Junior High. Hi. Well, how are you? Before then, Buffalo Tradition. Mm -hmm. Before then, this was Offerman Park. Oh, play. okay. And then before that, it was Olympic Park, which you and mm -hmm. I never heard of. You know, that was the right. 1890s. This was the original home that Mickey Mantle played on this ground. Um, yeah, really? Of course, Luke Easter played here. Right mm -hmm. here, this is where the stadium was. When wow. We you should have some plaque or something in here to commemorate that. From the Offerman family? Mm -hmm. He's interested in helping us out. That would be great. I'm not sure if you know that Offerman Fasano concern is at the top of the step of tower. Mm -hmm. So I just met him and he would like to be a part of the school renovation. Where are we going now? Sixth grade. Are they going to be putting our insignia of Cavaliers in the middle? And they're going to be changing the baskets on the side? That, taking the ropes down in the ring as well. Mm -hmm. Mr. Yoder, Dr. Ryan. Mr. Yoder, Byron Brown, nice to meet you. You've got some really uh, tall kids in this school, too, now. We do. We do. We're hoping uh, this is our year, right, from last year? Pardon me? Remember that from last year? I do. I do. How's Byron doing? He's doing well. He's played a lot over the summer.